Let's discuss how to create a new user in Active Directory. We're in Windows Server 2016, and we're on a domain controller in the Active Directory Users and Computers program. From here, we're in an organizational unit called Human Resources. Let's create a new user in our Human Resources organizational unit. And we'll just do that by right-clicking anywhere inside the box to the right of Human Resources, or we could right-click on Human Resources itself and choose New user. And we got a little wizard that pops up. And let's just go ahead and put in a name for our HR employee. And your user login name could either be first name, last initial, or the other way around. We'll say it's uh, first initial, last name as far as the login name goes. Click Next. And then we're going to put in a password. And you might need to find out what your complexity requirements are for your password to be compliant. And then you can decide whether or not to have the person be forced to change their password at the next logout. Now, sometimes we do this because we create a lot of users in a batch and we give everybody the same temporary password and then we force the users to change their password the first time they log on. Other times we don't do that and we just say the password we give you is the password you will use. Now, one thing we don't recommend is you do password never expires with the exception of the administrator logons. And the reason for that is because it's a good security requirement to have the users change their password and by default, that's typically every 90 days, although every organization might choose a different amount. For administrators, you don't necessarily want the administrator password to change because you could end up getting locked out. So we don't want that to happen. Also, sometimes the administrator username and password is tied in to either programs or services, whereas if those passwords get changed, then those programs or services will stop working. So let's go ahead and uncheck that. You can also have the option for users there where they cannot change their password. Now you can't do certain combinations, like you can't say user must change password and user cannot change password because that obviously wouldn't work. Uh, but you could say user cannot change password and sometimes we would do this if it's a, an account that we're tying to a service where we don't want someone to go in and make any changes to that. The other option is to disable the account, and the only time you'd want to do that is if maybe the user has not yet started at the organization where they're going to work, and you want to have nobody to use that uh, account until that new user has started, so just to make sure that security is tight there. So the safest thing in this particular case, as long as the person's not an administrator, is to not check anything at all, because that will allow to have their passwords changed using the group policy policy, which is going to be at a higher level that will force them to change their password after a certain amount of time. Let's go ahead and click Next and Finish. And now we have a new standard user in Active Directory.